Hey everybody, you know what bulk recording is? I'm doing this while I'm drinking sips of Hard Mike's Lemonade. My name's MRC Corr and I've just became Southern for some reason. I don't know why. I'm joined by my friend Justin Nut playing this game called Slay the Princess. I don't know what to say. I can barely walk in a straight line right now. I'm doing this back to back recording stuff. I'm not actually Southern. Dude, you can't even talk straight. What do you mean? I think that that was incredibly coherent. That was incredibly coherent. How dare you? Well, like I said, the drinking game is every time you have to click, take a sip. A click every time you sip. A sip every time you click, I mean. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. I've got talkies so with me. Long. I've got the power of chips. You know what the power of chips does? It forces you to drink more? No, it, it's supposed to soak up some of the booze, and it's supposed to make me not die. <laughs> the opposite, buddy. No, that's what... No, if you're drinking and you don't want to get, like, blackout drunk, you're supposed to eat while drinking. That, that's, 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 that's... Yes. That is true. However, you're choosing the absolute worst food you could possibly choose. A potato-based food that soaks up things because that's what potatoes do. Pretzels would also do. Like, that's carbs. Carbs soak up. Yes, because do you know what they put on top of every single chip? Flavor? Salt. I don't see what salt has to do with anything here. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean, oh my god? There's a reason you can't drink the ocean. Listen. I'm a survivor. Not, not listening to you, dude. I'm... I'm a survivor. Man, you're already, you're, you're already gone. <laughs> I'll survive this just like I did Nom. I'm not that old, though. Yeah, you are. Definitely not. That's... How long has she been knocked away? Yeah, actually, that's a very good question. How long has this princess been down here? Did they tell you how? Long enough to, to hear world? you drunk? What about me being drunk? Long enough to hear you be drunk. Look, Miss Slumkin has asked a really good question, and uh, the answer to that question is no. And what did you ask me? I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drunk yet, I promise. My ADHD is just having a field day. Okay. I was hoping you would tell me. No, which is why I don't think you're actually dangerous. Sooner or later, you'll learn to trust me. But I don't have a reason to trust you! You have given me zero reasons to trust you! Nor distrust you! I have nothing to go on! I might as well be standing on my dick! I can do dick touches! I'll just do dick push-ups! Dick-ups! That's what we'll call them! Yeah! Thank you for believing me. Now, can you help me get out of here? I don't know if I should yet! Yeah, I still have questions! There's going to be plenty of time to chat after I'm free, but okay. What do you want to know? Look, I've been told one thing, and the one thing may or may not be true, and I don't know, so I'm just like, eh. I didn't mean to burp in your face, Miss Slumpkin, but... Yeah, you did. Fuck you, let the drunken hero, let the functioning alcoholic save this damsel in possible distress. All right. 
Dude, I wouldn't hire you if you were the last person on Earth to save a princess. If you were the last- if you and I were the last people on Earth, Justin, why would you even hire me in the first place to save a princess? Neither one of us are princesses. And how would we even save ourselves or, or the each other? We're literally the last things. Let's like, what, we just walk into a pit of lions or something? No, we'd be the last people on earth. We would at least have, I would hope we would both have the uh, foresight to think, oh, that looks like a den of lions over there. Maybe don't walk that way. I think we have perseverance and, you know, self-preservation skills at this point. I mean, we're almost both 30 years old. I feel that we could definitely do something with that. You know, it's... Uh, I'm not... I'm not even five years away from 30, dude. You're... You're... Oh. You're like, wait, are there... Oh. Oh, I'm really old. You're old. Oh god. Oh god, I'm so old. I might have a midlife crisis on 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 recording. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's why you started drinking. No. I started drinking because I just wanted to see because my fiance drinks a little bit, like not a lot at all. Neither one of us really drink all that much. Like it's usually just a. As the man taking a sip every single time he clicks on a piece of dialogue. <laughs> I think you're full. You of are the one that suggested that, and I just happen to be the moron who took it. But anyway. No, like, I really don't drink all that often. Like, I haven't actually drank any alcoholic beverage since, I want to say May. Like, I, I actually want to say May. It's August the 21st right now, so that's at least four months. No, May is the fifth month. Three months. It's been, like, three months since I've been near any booze, okay? Like, I haven't drank any booze since then. I've taken, like, a sip of something that Emily's got at, like, the, at the bar. Because sometimes we'll go to this barcade. Um, which is just a bar plus arcade part of it. Um, so she'll have, you know, like, an amaretto sour or something. I'm just naming a drink that I'm, I'm aware of. She doesn't actually order that. She orders more, like, um, like, fruit cocktails. You know what I mean? So, something like that, and then I'll just have, like, a sip of it, and then that's it. Like, that's the most that I've drank in the last three months. So, in all honesty, I really don't drink that much. I drink probably three or four times a year, and that's it. <laughs> I don't spend very much money on alcohol. Anyway, uh, what do I want to know? Whatever you say, Goofy. What do you mean, Goofy. I am Goofy, but I'm not Goofy. Goofy is owned by Disney. Okay, no. Um. Yeah, I like this one. That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Well, that seems like a personal problem, okay, Princess Slumpkin? Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find Dog, out. Dog, she is chained to a wall. You see that shackle on her wrist? What's she gonna do? Become the no. Hulk and just boom, bust down the door? I think we're safe. I mean, it worked for Shrek. Was Shrek shackled? I don't remember him ever being in shackles. I'm thinking of all the Shreks, and I don't remember him ever being in shackles. The word for Quasimodo. The fourth one? I don't remember the fourth one all that well, because that one was just a cash... That was just a cash grab, really. Because the fourth Shrek movie is when, um... That's when Shrek was getting tired of his daily life and he made a wish that came true that 
he wasn't married to Fiona and that he had never met Fiona. And the way to get out of that timeline was to make Fiona fall in love with him. Again. And he did do that because he's Shrek. Shrek is love. Shrek is life, as they say. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. Uh, you know what? This hero and me are vibing. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. Yeah, but see, I kind of want information, and you're kind of not giving that to me. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. Uh, but what if you don't make it out of the cabin? You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. I have no one to trust! Oh, fuck it. Let's get her out of here. You can't be serious. I can do whatever I want, narrator! Thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this, I promise. Okay. You're making a huge mistake. No. I think you're doing the right thing. Alright, great. You walk up to the chains binding the princess uh -huh. to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break God, them God, I'm gonna be so wasted. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Nope. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Okay. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. What if they did, you stupid? Um... Uh, fine, I'll do this. Okay, I'll be here. Goodbye. Uh, thank you. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding. Into Princess, place. did you just lock the door on me again? God dang it! Oh, uh, I need to not drink for a second. All right. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed well, to. Well, I, A, have my reasons, Mr. Narrator. Easier for whom? Yeah, exactly. Why do you want me to beat the princess up with a knife? She don't deserve a knife. She just deserved to be locked down here because she a bad girl. Yeah, bad girls deserved uh, shackles. They deserve being tied up and then punished. And so do bad boys. They also deserve to be tied up and punished. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you What mess am I in? I'll slide through those bars. Just give me a little bit of butter. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? I don't even know who they is! There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. Uh-oh. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Do you know that for a fact? I mean, I'm not one to really judge people by their physical appearance or anything. Sometimes, you know, my assumptions and judgments do surprise me. For instance, I was watching RuPaul's Drag Race the other day, <clears throat> and I saw one of the girls do like a spinning somersault thing and their stature didn't really look like their body would be able to do that but i was very surprised that they were able to successfully do that and they did it so well there it, that was like olympic level somersaulting it was really cool to watch she barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf Nanny? As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. How long have you been down here? It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. But... 
or we could use it to free her. Yeah, but I have no reason to do either thing! You won't like what happens if you do that. Alright, Dustin, what are we doing? Are we slaying? Slay? It. Slay? Death. Uh, okay. My friend says death. Without hesitation, bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. Uh, finally! The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. Oh, I There's need no to take a lot of sips for with that. you to the end. Cool. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? Uh-oh. The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her. I don't her like back. this. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner That's of the That's probably room not good. And meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered I didn't bird. really want to do that option. Can I go back? No. Yes, I can. Oh, fuck. I don't understand any of those words. The load? Load here, yeah! Sooner or later, you'll learn to trust me. Thank you. Uh... Who's going? Yeah. That seems like a pretty. I don't think I could. I took a big sippy. I took a big sippy because I reloaded and I did a lot of dialogue. So, I definitely can't see straight right now. You can't yeah. be serious. Oh, okay. Thank you. Your mate, no. I can walk up to the chair, large and heavy. I'm guessing you don't have the. Maybe it's some doubtful. Whoever locked. Okay, I'll be here. You attempt to make your way oh, out God, of the I basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Is someone else? Um. Yeah. You make easier for easier for everyone. Look at I heard the door uh, slam. Blah 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 blah. She crazy. Or we you won't like. Put your dick in the crazy. <sighs> Fine. Yes. Against your better judgment. You place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. I think this is probably fine. You cut into her flesh. Yep. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. How long is she down here that she needed to do that? And why are her boobs suddenly bigger? For no reason. Boobs just don't inflate like that. What is this, Michelle Vassad? Do her boobs just magically get bigger every time you see her? I don't understand. Her limb falls to the ground. I mean, people said about the heavy chains. Said the same suit. thing regarding a certain rapper. Nicki Minaj. Wait, no, her ass just gets bigger. What rapper has giant her tits every Artist. time? Who are you talking about? Justin, are you just gonna be silent? You gonna say something and not back it up? Justin, not. Yep. I'm silent. You can't be silent. You can't just say something and then not back it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about you right now. I hope you know that. She oh, didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. I understand half of what I'm saying, so... I understand every single word that you're saying. Just because I'm a bit tipsy right now doesn't mean that I don't understand the words coming out of your mouth. I really have to go pee, but I'm afraid to break the pee barrier. <laughs> okay. No. She didn't. Uh, okay, so the princess didn't make a sound through biting her own arm off. That's great. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. That seems like a bad thing, but you know what? I'm okay with it. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. I like my women strong! Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Agreed! 
Alright, I'm gonna leave it here because I really need to use the bathroom and I don't want to leave my recording session unattended because I don't edit my videos. I need to, but I don't because I don't like editing. I can, but I won't. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. We're going to be even drunker in the next video. And you're going to like it. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be all. Thank you all so much. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this. And we're going to see all of you in the next video that we do. Take care, everybody. I am so good at doing my outro. Don't you agree, Justin? I, don't you agree that I'm good at doing my outro? No. No, I can do it a million miles an hour.